Hello, welcome back to the channel and the bongo. The last video you saw with this was me removing the spark plugs. I've now got some spark plugs, it's been a bit of an effort to get some, but we found some. Um, so I'll show you what we've got. These are blueprint spark plugs. Um, we did originally order them using the part number off this spark plug to make sure we get the right one. Um, and the cross-referenced it at the um, Bears place and said there's some Bosch plugs that they do for 75 quid. So they ordered them, we got them in and there was completely and utterly wrong. There was uh, the wrong thread, the wrong length. So we're about to get the blueprint ones. That is the number there. That this car's using, ADK81801. So I don't measure. So we're going to see if these are the right ones. I'm hoping so. Right, the doorbell just went off. Oh, I keep putting this on in, I can't get past it. I'm going to have to go in the other way. Spitfire. Doing a video on these door cards. I'm just making the new door cards out of hardwood, but I'll show you that another time. Right, let's get one of these spark plugs out. It's a spark plug, it's a glow plug, or a heater plug, as some people call it. That is the one we have bought. And that is the old one. So they look pretty much the same. That nut is obviously to secure the buzz bar on top. But the plug itself looks pretty much the same. So we're going to put them in, get them into the vehicle, put all my vacuum lines and everything back, try and remember where all that goes and then see when it starts. So I'll just take this off the top first. And if I remember rightly, there's 12. It might still be in the car. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put some anti-seize on there. You know what's gonna happen? Oh, found it. That is unheard of. Using the correct method of finger instead of a brush. I'm gonna put that on the threads because we know what glow plugs are like for getting stuck and then let's see if it fits now this engine I think should normally use the 83 or 86 length glow plugs but because of the fact that it looks like it's had a new head it's got the longer glow plugs in it, so I think that's why they're in there. So you do have to take them out and check the length, because you don't know if they've been changed, it's an old vehicle. Anyway, I'm going to screw all four of them in, put the push bar on, and we'll see what happens. Come on in, let's get the rest out and get them in. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, these were 100 quid. The other ones were 75, they didn't fit. So the next one was these blueprint ones, which were 100 which is a bit of a nightmare. Let's hope they're good for that sort of money. I mean, there's much cheaper ones on eBay. But I've used blue blueprint stuff in the past and it's been pretty good. So we get the rest of them in. Next thing to go on is the buzz bar, which goes across the top of the glow plugs like that. Just going to make sure that it's not touching or rubbing on anything, which it doesn't look like it is. Um, and you've got the earth, uh, the live onto there, sorry. And we've got the eight mils to put on the top of all of them. So that's the next job. Right, that buzz bar's on. So now, let me put the live back on there. Get that on. That's the 10 mil. So tighten that up. And then I've just got to put all my um, solenoids and everything back on. <laughs> now, this plug was broken, so all we've got is two of the actual uh, the connectors there. I can't remember which way around there was. One way around was giving me no turbo whatsoever, the other way around was working. But I can't remember which way around there was. I'm going to see my old video, see if I can see anything. Because we're supposed to be going to university. Take my doors to university somewhere in this and pile it full of stuff. So, this is always what happens. The day before I'm going anywhere, I've got it in bits. Let's see. Right then, everything has been put back together. 
and we are in the car. Um, I have already started it once to move it to that to move it. I haven't got time to put it on video, but I will show you where it starts, and it starts really well. So we'll put the glow plug loads on there. The glow plug has gone out, but we've got to wait for the click of the actual relay, which can take a bit. There it is. Straight start there. It's not bouncing around like it was. Unfortunately, we have got the lights coming on for the alternator. So, fix one problem, and it says, I don't think so, mate. You're having another one. So, there it is. Please like and subscribe, and we'll do the alternator video soon. More videos on other things to come. Spitfire. We're looking for another Discovery too. If anybody's got one at a reasonable price, that's. Um, ready for scrap or you know it needs a lot of welding or anything like that uh, but in relatively good condition on the interior and paintwork then we would be interested put it down in the comments see you soon